AOPS volume 1 to basic number 80. If x varies as the cube of y and y varies as the fifth root of z, then x varies at the nth power of z. What is n? So it tells us that x varies as the cube of y. What does that mean? That means that x divided by the cube of y must give a constant. And it also tells us that y varies as the fifth root of z. So y varies directly with the fifth root of z, which is z raised to the one fifth power. And then x varies as the nth power of z. So what is n? So we're trying to find x over z raised to some n. And we have to find it in this form, given these two conditions. So how are we supposed to find it? Well, we can multiply both of them together. And the reason why for this is because we're told that two of them are direct proportionality. So if you multiply the two proportionalities, we can obtain another proportionality that has to do in regards with x to z. So x over y to the third times y over z to the one fifth should give something that is in the form of x over z to the n power. But how are we supposed to get rid of y? Because we don't want y. Well, we can raise both sides of this uh, inequality, or not inequality, this fraction by the third power, because then y to the third power can cancel with y to the third power in this denominator. Therefore, this becomes x over y to the third power times y to the third power over z raised to the three over fifth power, which, after canceling y to the third power, will give x over z raised to the three over fifth power. And we see here that x over z to the n power, which is the form that we're supposed to find it in, correlates with x over z raised to the 3 fifths power. And if these two expressions are congruent, that must mean, since the two bases are alike, n must be equal to 3 fifths, the solution to our question.